What is going on guys, it's Mr. Fantastic here and the specs for the Galaxy Z Flip 3 are confirmed and it's flipping awesome. And it is going to launch around May or after July, the decision is still likely to be made sooner or later and it will be launched alongside the Galaxy Z Fold 3. And regarding these leaks, in case you don't believe me, I've linked all these sources where I got this info from in the description down below, you can check them out. Though the specs of Galaxy Z Flip 3 are confirmed, but the design still isn't, I have a feeling that it is going to look somewhat like a foldable version of S21 Plus, but yeah, not yet confirmed. But I'll let you guys know if anything comes up, so subscribe if you want to see that. It is going to have glass on the back, Gorilla Glass Victus to be specific, and it is going to be slimmer too, so it'll be less clunky, which is a great thing. And the Hinge 2 will be getting an upgrade. There will be triple cameras on the back, which are going to be the same as Galaxy S21. So we have a 12 megapixel main, 12 megapixel all white, and a 64 megapixel telephoto camera with 3 times optical zoom, which was not present on the previous model, so that's a great thing. And that also means that it'll also support 8K video recording, so that's sweet too. As of the hour screen, which was criticized for being too small, is getting an upgrade too. So it is going to be somewhere around 1.8 to 2 inches, which is a decent size. As of the specs, it'll have 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage, and Snapdragon 888 globally. Now, there is a rumor floating around claiming that it might have Exynos 2100, but yeah, it's better to take it with a pinch of salt. It'll have a 3700 mAh battery, which is a decent upgrade from 3300 mAh of the original flip. We are also getting Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2, and stereo speakers, which is a great thing. It will also have 25 watt of fast charging, though I'm guessing it'll not come with a charger. You have to buy that separately. God damn it, Ammo! Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Okay, now let's talk about the flipping display. It will have the same size as last year, pretty much the same size, 6.8 inches of dynamic Apple Net display with finally a 120Hz refresh rate and the display will also have a variable refresh rate so it can save very life by varying the refresh rate depending on the content being displayed. The bezels are also going to be a lot smaller and the ultra thin glass technology will also be improved so we can expect the display to be more durable and sadly there is no under display camera technology still because it is not ready yet though the whole bunch will be smaller too so yeah that's all i got today thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed if you did do consider subscribing because that'll mean world to me and a massive shout out to wandering leaks mari qhd as well as the other sources in making this video possible this is mr fantastic and i'll see you next time